in this video we are going to look at water systems in unreal engine how you can create island lakes rivers in unreal engine with the help of water system so without any delay let's jump into unreal engine let's create a new blank project here we are going to go to games and we are going to create a third person here because we are going to use the water system and which we are going to interact our character with the water so let's create a third person template here and we are going to have a ray tracing turned on if you want you can turn on the starter content if you don't want to use it you can disable it but i am going to enable it and i have just selected a folder here and i have named my project water system and let's just create a new project here now our new project is created we need to enable certain plugins to use the water system in unreal engine because by default water system in unreal engine is not turned on and water system as usual is is still in experimental mode so don't forget to save each and every time when you are creating something so let's just enable the water system now let's go to edit let's go to plugin just type here water here and we are going to turn on this water experimental and water experimental extras and now just restart your engine again and then you are ready to use water in a, your unreal engine project so let's just press on this restart now now we have loaded our water plugin so if i type here water you can see it's already loaded now let's create a new scene here so we are going to go to file new level and we are going to create a empty level here because we are going to create lighting from scratch we are going to use this scene to create several projects so i am going to create a empty level here we are not going to save this level here let's go to window let's go to environment light mixer and let's just add all the tabs here so let's first add skylight atmosphere light sky atmosphere volumetric cloud and height fog here now let's just move each and every parameter here to upwards now in order to work with water system you need to have landscape because without landscape it is not going to work so if i go here and if i search here for water you can see we are having all this water bodies here but if i drag and drop it right here it is not going to work because we are going to need a landscape it can be a flat landscape it can be a landscape which you want to import but you need to have a landscape now we are going to click on this selection mode and we are going to switch to landscape here and we are going to create a basic landscape which is by default so let's just click on create here and let's just create a default landscape here and now you guys can see our default landscape is created so if i zoom out here okay i'm going to increase my camera speed here by scrolling in and scrolling out okay and now you can see it's looking something like this here so we are going to just work on this so let's just again go to our selection mode and now you can see it's looking something like this here okay now in order to uh, import your water system you need you are having some certain parameters here we are going to take a look at each and every parameter here so if i type here water you can see the first which you want you can use is water body ocean it will create a huge ocean as you see in movies so let's just do that so let's just drag and drop and as as you guys can see this spline which is having like four points here okay it will it will basically our uh, landscape and rest will be our water so the other landscape parts will be inside the water and that part which is in the lens in the spline basically will be your island so if i click it here it will take like uh, several seconds to load all the parameters and now you can see this is how it is looking so as you guys can see there are certain layers here so if you see here you can see there is a, a yellow layer here and there is a yellow layer here so basically this is a distance mesh of water and this is basically your detail water so what i am telling let me show you so let's just go to lit here and let's just go to wireframe and as soon as i do that you can see this is a detailed wireframe mesh of the water and this is basically having a flat plane which is having a water material which feels like it's a huge ocean and basically both are combined here okay so if i go to lit 
Now you can see this is looking something like this. And if I go here, you can see this mesh here. So you can see the gap here. Okay. So if I go here now, okay, if I decrease my camera speed and if I go inside, you can see we are having this underwater effect here. Okay. So as you guys can see, this is how it is basically looking inside the water and this is how it is looking outside the water. Now, this is the first parameter that you can use that is the water body ocean, but we also have several other water body objects. So let's just have a look at that also. So if I again go to my create panel, we are going to type here water. Okay. And as you guys can see, we are having an island here. So if I drag and drop this island here. Okay. Now you guys can see we are having this island type of thing. So if I want, I can move this also. So let's just move it here somewhere around this side. And now you can see this is how it is looking. Okay. And if I go inside again, this island, you can see we are getting this basically a extrude here, which is related to our landscape only. So this is how you can create your island system here. And if you want to edit your island also, you can do that. So you need to select the spline component and you just need to move your spline components upwards here. Okay. Right now it is not moving because you need to select your whole water body island and then you need to move it. But after some time, I'm going to show you how you can edit the spline also. Okay. In next video, we are going to see how you can edit the splines and then how you can add the spline, how you can create your own custom shapes. We are going to look at that also. Okay. Now, if I want, I can move it somewhere around here also. And this is a separate island kind of thing. Okay. Now let's move on to another parameter. We are going to look at how you can basically um, change the material of the water, how you can change the waves and all that stuff in next video right now. In this video, our focus is how you can create several water body elements which are provided by Unreal Engine. So we are going to again click on this create here. We are going to again type water here. And now you can see we have uh, seen the island, the ocean, and now we are having a lake here. So let's say I am taking this lake here. And if I am putting it somewhere around here, you can see I am having this lake system here. So if you want, you can do this also. If you want, you can keep this here also. So let's just try to do that here. So we are going to grab our lake here. If you want, you can resize it also. So if I basically lock this scale and if I type here 0.5, you can see our spline basically is resized here. And if you want, you can move it here somewhere around here. Now you cannot see it because it's inside the island. So you need to take it upwards here. And if I do something like this, you can see we are having this lake here basically. Okay. So this is how easy it is to create a lake system. And if you want now you what you can do, you can basically take it inwards also or outwards also depending on the scene that you are working on. Okay. So let's just do something like this here. Okay. And you guys can see this is looking nice. Okay. So this is how it is easy to create lakes. So if you want, you can create a lake here also. Okay. Now the difference between the lake and the river is that river basically can connect to your ocean. So let me show you that also. So if I uh, click on this create icon and if I type here directly river also, you will find a water body river. And now you can see we are getting this open spline here. Till now we were getting the closed spline. Now we are having this open spline here. So if I keep it around here, now it will take like several seconds to load. But now you can see we are having this river here. So if I go inwards here in my camera, you can see our river basically is flowing this side and it's going into our water here. And now if you want, you can edit this spline also. So if I go to let me show you how you can edit that spline of the river. So if I go to river here, if I go to spline component and now if I take this spline, I can move this around here. If I want, I can take this spline and I can take it and move backward here. Now, let's say you want it to start from here or maybe you want it to start from here. So basically, now you can say it's going something like this here. Okay. And if you want, you can take it here also. Now, let's say you want a point here in which a river is flowing like a C shape here. Okay. 
what you can do you can right click here and add a spline point here okay and now you can move it backward here and now you can see we are having this river which is flowing in this kind of shape and you can also convert this basically bezier point to uh, linear also so if i right click here you can select the basically spline point type from curve or you want a linear linear means basically a straight uh, straight line and curve basically means this handle that you are getting here which makes the shape really smooth so you can see here also we are getting this handles and this makes our shape really smooth okay and now let's say if you want basically this to be going outside here and you want a another spline here now you can right click and you can add a spline point here and now you can make something like this here so let's just do something like this and now you can see our river is flowing in this direction here so if i take around this side here now you can see this is how my river basically is flowing in this direction here so this is the basically introduction to water body systems in unreal engine in next video we are going to look at each and every parameter on changing the water material on changing the wave material we are going to basically look at uh, we are basically going to look we are basically going to look at uh, waters uh, we are basically going to look at wave system also you can change the wave system and you can really get some good waves and make it flow according to your requirement so we are going to take a look at that in next session and then we are going to move into foam system also of this water body system and we are also going to add and create a scene which are which is having a ship and it is basically in the ocean so we are going to create a small project with this with this water system also so if you like my video please share it with your friends who wants to learn unreal engine press that like button and subscribe to my channel for more such videos thank you guys bye bye